get okay we're live hi there everybody uh, my name is Lisa and I'm one of the Verbling English teachers and you are watching Verbling.com and this hour we are going to have a speaking class so if you are interested in practicing your speaking skills whether or not you are preparing for some type of English proficiency exam like the IELTS or the TOEFL exam if you just want to get some general practice in then this will be a good class for you during this hour um, if you have made a reservation then you can use that now if you don't have a reservation that's okay the class is starting and so you can join the class anytime um, you just click on the join class button if you're a verbling member or if you're maybe trying the free trial or if you want to pay per class there's a couple of different options for payment uh, you can look on I think there's a link at the top of the video um, on the Verbling website um, which you can go to that web that web page and read all about the different payment options for using Verbling um, you can also also um, you can also always watch the videos and watch us do the class um, that is free you can also see that what we're doing over here on the Verbling chat. Sometimes people ask questions and I answer. Um, in this class, we're going to be speaking a lot, so you can listen to us, maybe practice along. So let me welcome everybody who's come to class so far. Owner, how are you doing? I don't hear you, Owner. Is your microphone turned on? Okay, there you go. Now I hear you. I'm okay. hearing something. I'm yeah, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. And Jordy, welcome again. How are you doing today? Jordy? Okay. Whoops, Jordy dropped out. Maybe it's having a connection problem. Okay, Federico, how are you? Federico, your microphone is muted, so there you go. Hmm, maybe we're having some trouble with the, the hangouts here. There comes Jordi again. Okay, Federico, unmute your microphone and talk to me. Let me see if it's working. Um, if you don't know how to um, unmute your mic, just go to the top of the Google Plus Hangouts and you'll see a little microphone with a, a line through it. Um, if that is red, you are muted. And if it's not, then I can hear you. And I can see where I am that you are muted right now. So if you want to talk, you need to unmute your microphone. Okay, Jordy, you're back. How about, is your microphone working? Yeah, yeah. I okay. have problems uh, with my connection uh, uh, after I... Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, work. Uh, but working. now it work uh, good. Yeah. Good. All right. So Federico, I'm waiting for Federico and Mods joining. Okay. And Vincenzo, hello. How are you? Your microphone is muted, Vincenzo. <laughs> Next. Yeah. Right now. Yes, I'm ready. Right now. Yes. Hi. Uh, hi, how are you, teacher? Good, how are you doing? Fine, fine, thanks. Good, all right, and I still haven't heard from Federico, so I'm not sure if his microphone is working or not. So, Federico, um, you have to unmute your microphone. And Imad is joining us, too, so hi there, Imad, welcome. Okay, guys, so this is... um. Uh, for in this hour, I thought we would just practice some uh, having me ask you guys some questions, and then everybody taking a couple of minutes to answer yeah. those questions. And it's just like a, a practice that we're going to do. Um, this is preparation for taking a test. If you're interested in that or you need to do that, um, something like the IELTS exam or the TOEFL exam, but it's also something that is very common to be able to do just in general 
uh, conversation with people that you meet. So if you're learning English and one of your reasons is to be able to communicate with other people, maybe you want to find friends online or you like to participate in a forum about your career or something like that or some hobbies or interests that you have or you just want to participate more here on uh, Verbling, then this is just for practice. So we're going to practice and I'm going to ask you guys uh, some questions that are basic questions. Um, for Specifically for IELTS exam, this is um, uh, an example of what would be um, asked or what you would be asked to do um, during the first task. So the first task for speaking on the IELTS exam is a very informal um, everyday language type task. So um, one of them might be, for example, describe your hometown. So I'm going to ask you guys that question. And before I do, I'm going to talk a little bit about what that might uh, include, what your answer might include. So your hometown is where the town where you were born. So if I ask you, describe your hometown to me, you might want to tell me the name of the town, where it is, um, what it's like, how big is it, um, uh, is it out in the countryside, is it in a city, uh, what are the people like, what was it like growing up there for you, and then I, I'm maybe going to ask you some other questions. So Vincenzo, why don't we start with you? And tell, tell me a little bit about your hometown. What was it like? How would you describe your hometown? Yes, my hometown is a, is a town that is near Rome. It's uh, 30 kilometers from Rome, from the capital. It's called Tivoli. It's uh, a very, so, very ancient, a very old city. Uh, with uh, in, I think in, uh, it could be 50,000 inhabitants mm -hmm. and uh, there is the, uh, a river that, uh, that goes through this city and uh, it's called the Aniene, the Aniene. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, city, let's say town perhaps, is it better to say town uh, as a very a beautiful villa, we have Villa d'Este, Villa, villa Adriana, and Villa Gregoriana. Uh, villa villa d'Este is very famous. I think it's a, a villa that uh, one of the first in, in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think it, perhaps it's the third. It is famous for uh, the playing with the playing with waters. Yeah, I can say it's very famous because it, it's it, we have in this villa we have lots of fountains and mm -hmm. uh, and playing with water. Perhaps also a, a fountain that is called the uh, uh, organ fountain. So I don't know if in English it's very exact. It's huh. uh, so a time this fountain could. Uh, uh, Sound, no, with the with yeah. the water. Oh, uh -huh. have the possibility to sound with the water. Uh, perhaps if you are going to see, we can see from the internet. Uh, well, I'm looking at the the Villa de Este in Tivoli. Villa de Este, yes. Yeah. Cardi from the Cardinal uh, d'Este. Yeah. The Cardinal d'Este in Tivoli. Yes. This is very famous. Well, in, after we have. Uh, Villa Adriana from the Emperor, Imperator, Emperor, Emperor Adriano, yeah. Adriano, Emperor Adriano. This is uh, uh, ten kilometers, I think, of five, no, five kilometers from Tivoli. It's uh, in the suburbs, and yeah. uh, also this villa is very famous, and also Villa Gregoriana. That is uh, a villa the, where there is a a, a fall. There is a fall. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Not very important, but uh, beautiful. Mm. So uh, what can I, what can I say? Yes. Mm. That's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, did you like growing up there? Yes. Yes. We in, in this city. I have my brother. 
brother. Uh, instead, my my sister I have a brother and a sister. My my brother is in, in Tivoli. Uh, yeah. live, uh, lives in Tivoli, and my sister is near Rome, uh, uh, via, uh, near the cast, castle, Roman castle, mm. uh, Albano, Albano. It's, you know, it's how, one of the, how long yes. did you live in uh, Tivoli? Yes, uh, till I was in Tivoli uh, till I married in mm -hmm. 1978. I married in 1978. And mm -hmm. so, from 1941 to 1978. Yes. Wow. From the, yes, and, then, uh, and then you moved to uh, Rome? Yeah, moved to Rome, yes. From my wife, uh, mm -hmm. is from the 1977 uh, 19, till today, I, mean, uh, I live mm -hmm. in Rome. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Do you, so do you go um, visit Tivoli very often? See, Yes, sometimes I go there I, you know, because I I go in order to see my 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 mm, brother. Yes, mm -hmm. my brother, and uh, yes, but I don't like to return to uh, in the old places <laughs> because uh, it seems something that's very restricted. That's going to restrict me to. Uh, mm. To send me in an old situation when I was a <laughs> child. Some, perhaps some people like to go yeah. <laughs> in the past, but for me, it's, it's a, a way to to return as something that uh, that I don't want to see. I, I can't explain because yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, I don't know it looks. I, I understand yeah. what you're saying. It looks like a very um, touristic type of town. It, do lots of yes. tourists go there? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. It's very tourist because uh, I think that the to tourist, tourists, uh, uh -huh. yes, after visiting Rome, uh, one yeah. of the tourists uh, to Tivoli, Tivoli, yes. Oh, okay. And uh, this all uh, because of. Uh, uh, these famous uh, villas, yes, famous mm -hmm. villas. with all yeah. the water fountains and the gardens. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. It's very uh, fantastic. It's very it's fan a fantastic villa. Yeah. Yes. Mm. It's nice. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Good. Good job. That was really good. Um, okay, Jordi, how about you? Tell us about your hometown. Where did you grow up? Okay, I was born in Tortosa. It's a city with uh, 40,000 uh, people uh, mm -hmm. live here. And it's very near from Barcelona, the capital of Catalonia. Mm -hmm. and one of the most important cities on Spain. Mm -hmm. um, Tortosa is between two mountains in a depression. Mm -hmm. And as you can see at the photos, I uh, have a very big river, the Ebro River, mm -hmm. uh, in a valley, okay. And, <clears throat> and it, uh, I live here uh, up to 18 years old because mm -hmm. uh, after that I go to live to Barcelona for a study my degree. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important uh, monuments in my city are the castle, castle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the cathedral mm -hmm. and the and the the all ancient part of the city. Mm -hmm. Yes, for example, this photo you can see the cathedral. Yeah. It's very near uh, from the Delta del Ebro, uh, mm -hmm. the final of the river. Oh, okay. It, uh, the Delta del Ebro is one of the most important, um, I don't know the, the name of Delta in... Delta. In, ah, okay. Same. It's one of the most important deltas of the on Europe because it's very, very big and it has a lot of... Imp importance, uh, na nature, nature importance, mm -hmm. because there is, there are a lot of 
kinds of birds and oh okay yeah okay so um, it's like a natural area a natural yes yes it's a natural area mm -hmm. nice uh, do you, I don't know. do you go back there very often to visit? Do you have people who still live there? Yeah, uh, I have my parents in my city and my long life friends. Uh -huh. And also I go to Tortosa maybe all, uh, uh, generally all the weekends I go. Oh. Because, yes, because I have uh, my my professional life or my student life in Barcelona and then yeah. with, for disconnect I go to to my parent city. How do you get there? Do you drive or take a train or bus? I take a, a bus, yes, a bus. I, I don't have my my um, uh, for drive. Uh, license? Yeah, the Drivers, yeah, the, li the license drivers yet, mm -hmm. uh, but now I am study for, for get it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because maybe I need the the license for for my if I get a job. Yes. How long does it take by bus to get there from Barcelona to Tortosa? Ah, mm, two hours. Oh. Near mm -hmm. two hours, mm -hmm. and. History, uh, the history of Tortosa is very important because in the in the time of Romans in mm -hmm. the Romans imperi, imperi, empire empire, empire. Uh, Tortosa uh, then Tarragona was the one of the most important cities of the empire in Spain in Spain. Oh. Uh -huh. and it's, so there's lots it's, of history. Yes, okay. it's a nice city to visit. I uh -huh. recommend you. <laughs> okay, yeah, it looks nice. Is it, um, how far is it from the water? From the sea? Yeah, from Tortosa to like the beach or something. Um, it... 10 minutes, a uh, quarter. Oh, okay. Close. Yes, yes, the Delta del Ebro is very, very close. And in the Delta, we have a very, very big uh, beach. Uh -huh. But also, there are a lot of mosquitoes. And oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. We have careful. problems with that because near mm -hmm. the river and near the the delta, yeah. the, the mosquitoes. Uh huh. Always represent. or just certain months? No, just on on the summer. Mm hmm. Oh, always no. Only in summer and only on some hours of the day. Uh, maybe okay. 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, okay. They come out and, yeah. Yeah. Mm, okay. Good. All right. Great. Okay. So, part of, um, on the IELTS exam, I'll just, I don't know if you guys care about the IELTS exam, but you, they, you won't probably talk that long and they might ask you some questions like I did, but so you guys are doing great. To, in terms of just speaking and keep saying things, and then I'll ask you some questions. So, Yuki, welcome. Yes. Hello. Hello. Nice I see nice you. Nice to see you. <laughs> um, Yuki, t we're talking yes. about hometown. So, describe ah, your hometown mm -hmm. to us. Where did uh, you grow up? I, I I was born in the city of Kobe in oh. Japan. Uh -huh. Kobe is situated uh, next to Osaka, mm -hmm. uh, in the in the west side, in the west of, in the west of Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, um, Kobe has a mountain and mm -hmm. and ocean, mm -hmm. and Kobe is famous as a port city. Uh, um, you can you can you can enjoy the view from uh, from mountains. Uh, uh, Kobe's now night view is uh, very very well known well known mm -hmm. as a uh, well known as a good date spot <laughs> yeah. among young people. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, yes. 
you can see uh, uh, gradius. Uh, you 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 can see a gorgeous view of night 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 city of Kobe yeah. in the night from mountains, and you can swim in the in the sea. There is a there are very good to, good to beach uh, in Kobe. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kobe, Kobe is also well known as a cosmopolitan port city. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many uh, historically, historically there have been uh, many uh, many foreigners living in Kobe. Mm -hmm. uh, because Kobe has a good good port, and also uh, even the in, even the uh, if the period of Edo uh, before uh, mm -hmm. in medieval yeah. era, uh, Japan has a uh, policy of se seclusion. So mm. we had closed uh, to foreign countries. Oh, but okay. Kobe, Kobe is one of the little cities. Uh, which is allowed to open mm. for trade mm -hmm. with the mm -hmm. for, for, with the west countries yeah with the west <laughs> with, with with foreign countries yeah. so there are there are many foreigners uh, there have been many foreigners uh, got, so have, Yuki, have get to hmm? have gotten to live there here. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. What what kind of a house did you live in in Kobe? Did you live in one of these uh, Apartment buildings? No, we have a uh, own house. Uh, yeah. Although it, it it is very old house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is not a big house, but but uh, we have we have own house. My mm -hmm. my we have my family. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, but, that but, uh, happened in the earthquake, I guess, huh? Uh, yes. Uh, in 1995, there are big earthquakes. Uh, mm. Then I I worked in Tokyo, but mm. my my parents live uh, my parents live uh, uh, lived in Kobe. Okay. So after after the news after the news after, next morning after the earthquake ask, I headed to, for for my my uh, my 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 net my home city mm -hmm. Kobe. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I I. I saw the awful view of earthquakes. Yeah. It's a kind of one scene of a uh, Hollywood movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very, I was, I was very surprised of the change of view. Uh, many building has, ha, has been destroyed. And I, I saw the um, electric pole has, has been fallen. Do you know electric poles? Yeah, elect electric yeah. poles. Uh -huh. Electric poles has been pulled. Wow. I yeah. I I have a big I have a big rucksack uh, with uh, with with food mm. to mm -hmm. bring to bring them to our our relative, relatives and our yeah. parents and I had walked from Osaka to Kobe. It uh, it 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 is maybe thirty kilometer. Oh wow! You had to yes. walk. Yes, I had walked because uh, because train train completely had had been stopped. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, wow. I. Whoa! Uh, look at that picture. The road <laughs> because, just fell uh, over. Funny. I I have funny story. Uh, many people uh walked. Uh, yeah. By foot, uh, along the uh, along the railroad, mm. then. Uh, but I found uh, many people has been drunk. Oh, <laughs> they were drunk. I, I don't know. I didn't know why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is because of uh, there is um, um, convenient stores. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is stores uh, sold uh, daily foods and uh, drinks, mm. but they were all closed, of course. Yeah. And Jap in Japan, in Japan, there are many, many after auto automatic machines to, to to sell drinks. How to sell? Oh, this? really? Uh, like. Well, usually I, there's I, I soda machines. I didn't remember machines. the name. Yeah, soda machine, uh, auto automatic soda machine. Yeah. 
maybe there is a name. I, I didn't remember the English name. Yeah, beverage too. machine, beverage selling machine. Such, such yes. A, right. Uh, we call it a soda machine. Yes, I, 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 I was, I, I, then I felt, I felt my throat sore. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to drink, and I, 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 I went to, I, um, I, I went to the machine to buy a drink, but uh, the, then I found almost all drink has been sold. Oh wow. Uh, only I I could uh, I could uh, buy is uh, <laughs> yeah, was a beer. Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, why many people have already drunk. On, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> how how many people live in Kobe? It seems like a huge city. Uh, it is not big as Osaka and Tokyo, uh, but it, it is enough big city. Uh, uh they are, um, they are they are they are live uh, they are live uh 1.5 million yeah it's people. it says the, it's the fifth largest city in Japan yes yeah, it is the fifth fifth largest oh, okay. city in Japan mm -hmm. but but it is not, not such big city uh, uh like Tokyo Tokyo uh, yeah <laughs> uh, so there are many good 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 to store yeah. uh, of present present atmosphere, so you can walk around the uh, city, San Nomiya. Mm -hmm. And there are many, many very interesting shops you can find. Do you um, do you ever go back to Kobe now? Uh, not every go every year, um, but but sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Who still lives there in Kobe? Uh, Kobe uh, in Kobe now my parents and my little sister uh, okay. live there. Uh huh. Nice. <laughs> so when you go to Kobe, do you fly to Tokyo and then you take a train to Kobe? Yes, or? I I have to I have to uh, make I have to make transit. Yeah. Have a transit. Make transit. But yeah, you have to make a transfer. Make, I have to make transit uh, 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 in Tokyo. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes, yes. Kobe yeah. is also famous as a good, good rice, rice, rice wine, sake. Oh, sake. Uh -huh. <laughs> there is many very good sake, uh, nice and sake. And what about Kobe yes. beef? We hear about Kobe, Kobe beef. beef. Yes, yes, I, that, that is I want, want I, I meant to say. Yes, Kobe beef is very, very tasty, juicy. Um, <laughs> um, I think most, <laughs> I don't know, I think most delicious food in the yeah. world. But yeah. it is, it is, it is, it is uh, very expensive. expensive, yes. Mm. Uh, do you know uh, to uh, to farmer uh, mm -hmm. to get to get uh, soft beef? Uh, they they make make cows uh, drink a beer. Oh no, I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know? No. It is a, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, farmers say that that it is a good good. To, a uh, way to is, get yeah. get a uh, get a good to be ah yes yes that's <laughs> <laughs> yes we are help to their meat more softer wow uh, uh, makes them softer yeah more tender uh, more tender so more tender yeah, tender okay well thank you that's good uh, thank you very much and owner hi hi there you're back. So uh, we're talking about hometowns. So, yeah. where, what is where did you grow up? Describe to us your hometown. What's the name of it? Um, I grew up uh, in Samsung. Uh huh. Um, I wrote it in chat book. The, where is Samsung? Uh, Samsung is um, the far um, coast of the um, the north coast of the Turkey. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, it has 1.2 million population. Uh huh. Uh, it's a harbor city. Mm -hmm. The uh, main gains uh, related with the harbor. Uh, we export or Im importing uh, some goods to uh, Russia, Ukraine, 
Uh-huh. Uh, and Romania also mm -hmm. uh, with that harbor. Um, <laughs> what kind of a house did you live in when you lived there? Or where do you live now? Um, I am now um, I am living in Eskişehir, uh, a city which is located between Istanbul and Ankara. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, but I grew up the, uh, I grew up that city, uh, mm -hmm. Samsun. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew I I grew up um, in an apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, generally, people get used to live in um, apartments, not mm -hmm. uh, their own personal house with yeah. uh, gardens or anything. It does. Else, um, yeah. Does it look like about like these? Because so, they don't look too high. Maybe like what eight stories or ten or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Eight, ten. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh huh. And did you know the other people who lived in the other apartment um, buildings? In yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And your neighbors. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, earlier, um, the neighborhood relationships is mo most warm. But uh, these days, yeah, um, people's uh, people's uh, getting um, more um, alien. <laughs> Arrogant, okay. With, with each other. With yeah. each other, okay. So they're not so yeah. friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And does um, it snow there? Um, this picture shows uh, but, but, snow. Yeah, but but not. Uh, we have not. Uh, we haven't got uh, long winters. Uh -huh. Only two or uh, three uh, weeks. Oh, okay. For yeah. uh, years, for mm -hmm. a year. Yeah. Um, also, mm -hmm. yeah, there is a mosque in here. Mm -hmm. um, the main there is a specialty about uh, Samsung. Uh, do you know Atatürk, Mustafa yes. Kemal Atatürk? Yes. Yeah, the founder of the, uh, the Turkey. Republic. Uh huh. Yeah, the, the Republic. Yeah. Uh, he began. Uh, he began uh, that. Um, like a that rebellion war. or something. Yeah, yeah that, that rebellion. Uh -huh. Firstly, in Samsung. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did he live there? Or that's just no, where he started. No, no. Okay. Not just the flame. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Also. So, um, also, you know Amazonian. Uh huh. Uh, actually, uh, everyone uh, know ra uh, wrong about Amazonian because the main country of the Amazonian in uh, is Samson. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the historical names uh, of them, Charmedon, um, like that. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Um, so this is the eastern yeah. part of Turkey. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, the, the north side. North. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to see. But yeah. it's on the water. Sorry? But it's on the water, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, wait. I gotta look and see what I was looking at these pictures. Um, what did you put in there? Temkira. So that's the original name. Yeah, this is the name of the city. But before. Also, um, Termodon. Termodon. Oh. Okay. Mm. From the Amazon rebels. Okay, yeah, this is what yeah. it talks about. Yeah, there is uh, no um, uh, any building, uh, but in the in the historical uh, records, yeah, um, all records say that uh, uh -huh. there, there there was a, a population, there was a, a city, there was yeah. a nation uh, that who had lives in yeah 
northern uh, north side of the Turkey, yeah. and uh, mostly they are women. Yeah, uh, they were they were women, uh, and the uh, role of the woman is very um, high in that uh -huh. uh, culture. Uh huh. They are they are um, um <laughs> so, yeah, so they were powerful. They were tall. Yeah, yeah. They, too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Oh, all right. So it was the Amazonians. <laughs> like Wonder Woman or something. Yeah. And that's that same area. So is it surrounded by, um, like, green? Like, if you go out of the city, do you go through uh, the country? Is it? Is it like a... Countryside? Do you uh, do they grow things there, like uh, fruits or vegetables or anything? Yeah. Um, um, like if you look at the map yeah. here, yeah, it kind of yeah. looks dry, and then it goes into the green area. Is it more? It doesn't look like too much mountains, just hills and stuff. Uh huh. Um, mm -hmm. uh, earlier, uh, we have. Uh, too much um, tobacco uh, oh. uh, lands. Yeah. yeah. Also um, tea. Uh, oh, okay. Tea is popular. Tea land. Yeah, yeah. Tea lands. Uh huh. But these these days, um, the farmer normally um, they uh, most of uh, farmer uh, sold their uh, lands. Mm hmm oh, Okay. Um, yeah, so because, of the, uh, because of the political um, decision about the uh, farming, uh -huh. uh, because of the government. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. And so, is it? Um, does it get really hot there in the summer? Not so uh, hot, but um, there. Are too much uh, coast. There are too much uh, beach uh, mm -hmm. along the coast, yeah. uh, and uh, we have good um, swimming uh, places. Oh, nice uh, beaches to go swimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have um, three months, three mm -hmm. hot months for yeah. uh, for a year. Yeah. Not so hot, but uh, it's uh, enough for to uh, swimming. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see the beach here on this, over mm -hmm. here. Nice. Mm -hmm. And you can swim in the water? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> nice. No sharks? <laughs> no, no, no sharks. Uh, nice. No sharks, but uh, there are um, sand, uh, sand dunes in the, uh, in, in the bottom of the uh, oh. sand, sand dune. Sand dunes? In this, in, yeah, sand dune in the sea. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can swim uh, 100 meter, uh, but um, you can um, put your feet to the sand. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, okay. Thank you. Okay. So you guys did a good job on the hometown and explaining what it's like and everything. So let's um, go on and I'm going to ask the next question. Everybody's going to have a chance. Is your education, describe your education. So what kind of school did you go to? Was it boys and girls? Uh, stuff like that. So let's start. Uh, Jordy, why don't we start with you. What, what was your education like? What was it like for you to go to school uh, I go uh, all my life uh, on the same school uh, on the uh, on only one school uh -huh. uh, the school uh, uh, was for for girls and for boys uh -huh. and the school uh, is in my my town city Mm -hmm. uh, it was a school who is very, very Christianism. Uh, have a, you was it a Catholic me? school? Yeah, a Catholic school. Yeah, Catholic. Okay, Catholic school. 
because my parents uh, thought that in the that the school uh, the teachers uh, was good. Mm -hmm. And then when I find my, my school, uh, on this school, I go to the university. So um, the, the school that you went to, it was a Catholic school, so it was a private school. Yeah, no, no, no? exactly. Uh, no public, but no private. Um, uh, Did your parents middle, have to pay for it? Yes, but uh, only... Uh, Apart, no, not all, all the, the, the yeah. Is okay. in Spain there is uh, three uh, three kinds of a school: the public, oh. the private, yeah. and one mixed between oh. the two. What what makes it mixed though? Like, does the 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 government pay a little bit too? Yes, the government pay. Uh, the most important part of the the of the payment and yeah. the family pay only a little part for a plus hours and for other activities. I see. In Spain, we call the school a concerted school. Okay. Okay. I didn't know. All and right. The, the building of the school. He, uh, is very, very, very big. It's oh, yeah? uh, giant. Uh, <laughs> for the number of, uh, of children, uh, the school have a lot of um, stadiums or for, for play football stadiums or uh, yeah. you understand? You yeah, know? stadiums or fields or something maybe? Yeah. Uh, what, what was the name of it? Teresia? Uh, Sagrada Familia. Sagrada. If you want, uh, uh. Ah, famous. Yeah. Cathedral. Well, that's yeah. Oh, did you write it? Hold on. All right, I'm gonna look up the photo of it. And then the the school I go oh, to. Oh wow! The, yeah, nice. Is that it? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. This uh, class of right the, there? yeah. Oh, okay, so a lot of students went there. Yes, uh, one thousand. Oh, okay. Uh, and that and is from the time you start school. What what age were you when you started? Uh, three years old uh, to oh, wow. eighteen years old. Oh, okay. All my. My my first uh, school uh, I study in the in, the, in this center. Did, did you um did you learn in Spanish or in Catalan? In Catalan. Oh, uh, okay. In Catalonia, uh, most of the schools uh, learn, uh, teach in Catalan. Only half Spanish when we study the Spanish class. Oh, but okay. All the others uh, lessons are in Catalan. in Catalan, okay. and the other the in English the English lesson. Yeah, and so when you grew up, did you grow up speaking mostly Catalan, and then you just learned Spanish in school? Uh, mm, I. Uh, I uh, learn Spanish in the life in TV. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know uh, was it, what is the process uh, for the Catalans to learn Spanish. It's very, very uh, not 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 difficult. Yeah. Well, did you speak in to your parents in Spanish or in Catalan or both? No, in Catalan. In Catalan. Okay. I uh, the most important number of Catalans. Uh, yeah. We understand uh, perfect uh, Spanish, but for talking Spanish, we have a uh, little problems. Oh, okay. Because we um, uh, we never talk in in Spanish. I see. Uh, so, in in Barcelona, what do you talk mostly now? In Barcelona, Catalan, but in Barcelona, maybe it's the city uh, where you. 
where the people talk more Spanish. Mm -hmm. Okay. For, but for example, in the university, I study on the University of Barcelona. Yeah. Uh, the people, uh, the the teachers, uh, talk in Catalan too. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow, that's confusing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you want to learn Spanish, maybe go to Madrid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, nowadays the people yeah. want to be teach with Catalan because there are a lot of politics uh, sure. uh, and culture problems, and the people of Catalonia yeah. um, want their independence from yes. Spain. Right, okay. I get it. Okay, good, thank you. And um, Vincenzo, what was it, your school like? Describe your education in Tivoli. Well, uh, I study in initially. I studied at the school, the religious school, mm -hmm. but uh, I I wasn't <clears throat> very. Glad to to be in that school because I was <laughs> a little child. <laughs> I wanted to return the first day. I remember. Yeah. I, tr I tried to escape from the school. Oh <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because I remember uh, a lot of crying that I made. You know. In that <laughs> yeah. So I remember also that only that in that school, I, we used to eat a lot big pieces of cheese. That, mm. uh, that I remember, oh, I always remember. It's yeah. very, very, so, so. I, I hate that, that she's. <laughs> it, it, it was, uh, I, no, no, no. It was uh, yellow, it was big pieces of or cheese, uh, yeah, very yellow. Yeah. Very, very strange, you know. But, you didn't uh, like it. <laughs> I didn't like it, yes. But, uh, yeah, uh, and so um, there was a, uh, the teacher were very dangerous because sometimes mm. they hit me on my hand, no? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, and uh, I remember sometimes as I also went behind the, how do you say, the lavagna, how do you say, the lavagna, the blackboard. The blackboard, <laughs> okay. The blackboard, they yeah. put me, because no, so perhaps a little, um, they were fasti punishing you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, something, yes, something like that. This is the first time uh, <laughs> about my school, the um, religious school. After uh, this um, elementary school, I went to um, a school of accounting, you know. Oh. And it was uh, um, a kind of school where it's possible to, to learn accounting. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end, uh, in this school, in these schools, I had a certificate uh, in accounting. Mm. In uh, at the how old were you then? Now? No, ah, when then, you then, yeah, then then is I I yes, eighteen years old. 18 oh, okay, years old. eighteen. Uh -huh. So I tried to go to the university, but without yes, without success. Mm. <laughs> I tried for the first years but uh, I didn't achieve to to find the method to study so I tried and tried again but uh, what tried to you to study what what degree I, you I, tried to in in economy not to be ah, okay. a degree in economy economy and commerce, commerce and then and then your job have uh, some relation with economics or or you change the no, my job uh, is about computer. I worked in a society uh, uh, about uh, like a, a programmers, a pro mm. a computer computers programmer, in order, yeah. to okay. make, to, in order to make programs for for computers, mm -hmm. and so I used a lot of of languages and from the first languages in in this computer uh, because I, I had an hobby for. Uh, Electronics also, no? It's okay. so also for, for computers, so I, I like it very much. So, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and then I want to say about this trying to to get to the university, but uh, 
I, I didn't find the method to study, so uh, <laughs> I uh, I studied and studied the same book without to, uh, because uh, I didn't uh, I didn't find the method to to study, so I abandoned the university. Yeah. The university. Mm, and so you you didn't you didn't go to the university, but instead you um, learned computers. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. So, but, but this is this is what for myself a teacher, not about. Uh, oh. uh, uh, so I find this work in uh, uh, the telecom. It was a telephonic mm -hmm. company. Telecommunications. Rome. Yeah. Communication, telecommunication. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I worked there for thirty-five years. Wow. Thirty-five yeah. years till, yeah. till my how do you say retirement. Retirement, yeah, retirement. Mm -hmm. That it, it happened in 1996, mm -hmm. 1996, and so from that time, I am retired. Yes. Wow. Uh, did you um, did you know English for your work, or how long have you been uh, learning English? No, no, no. I studied English uh, when I worked in this society. Uh -huh. In the evening, when I went out, I um, begin to study. For myself, you know, because uh, you know, at school it's very difficult to. Uh, for sure. me, eh? I yeah. think it's very difficult to, to learn English because I don't know why. Then <laughs> the, cat, the cat is on the table, the cat is under the table. At the end, one person on it. It's a something very grammatical, but you can join all together, no? Yeah. All together. Uh, it's very fragmented the study mm. at school. In, in Italy, is it's difficult to to study English very well or other mm. languages. Also, mm -hmm. the, also at the university, uh, yeah. because I I saw this for my for my daughter, also for my daughter that that went to the university, but mm. she doesn't know very well the English or other languages. Yeah. Because they, I think the the teachers can is are not able to teach English in the in the right way. Right. Maybe too many students. Oh, many students also in your country. Is it also does it happen also in your country? No. Eh? Jordi. Ah, sorry. Are there a lot does of it, kids in your class? Yes, in the school seventeen. I seventy. I sorry, sorry. Uh, twenty-seven. Uh, things like that. Yeah. In the elementary school and maybe a lot yeah. of students for one teacher and. If the students are chilled, uh, the people want to talk. Yeah. <laughs> and never yes. talk in English. Uh, yeah. it's <laughs> yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. It's very strange. But I think this is, this is very important for the language. I don't know why, but when I begin began to yeah. study English yeah. for myself, you know, only for my interest, because there is a certain time of the, the life that you... You uh, find out that you <laughs> like uh, some to make something. No, it, I don't know when yeah. it is the moment, well, the right moment. Yeah, you're think. more when you're more inspired. You have like a personal motivation. You know, nobody's making yes. you do it, or yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And then you just. It's so, so it, 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 no, only, so I want only to say this for in order to finish. Uh, so that's very strange because uh, I think that one person obtains something when it is the right moment, you know, the right moment. Yeah, that's sure. The, I think it is. Yeah. It's, it's very strange because uh, I don't know what's happened, but at the end I, I find a, a feeling for the languages, you know. I didn't. I have never mm -hmm. uh, tried this uh, this feeling, uh, this interest. Because going on in your life, yeah. you are going to to find something that you that you like. That you, I don't know. Perhaps sure. it's the, I don't know if it is the same for you or for yeah. other person. Yeah. Other person. And this Maybe way. we need time to hear eh? Yuki school. <laughs> yeah, we need a little <laughs> more time. So Yuki. <laughs> okay, let's finish. Thank you, Vincenzo. <laughs> Yuki, in the last. Yeah. Four or five minutes. Thank Tell you. us uh, what was your education yeah. in Kobe like? Hey, I think uh, I think that's a finish. <laughs> 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 
It would be it would want to my town. No, we didn't go. No, so no I'm, tell I'm us. Totally relaxed now. Now you're relaxed <laughs> listening to Jinda. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I I I had a, I had been land in different uh, cities. Oh. Uh, many different cities. Uh, uh -huh. I my family my family uh, had been moved to another city because okay. my father my father uh, my father my father has a has a job transfer. Okay. Um, uh, so I I have I had learned I had learned uh, uh, in elementary school uh, in in the city of Kobe, and when I was when I was um, junior high school stu uh, student, yeah. I I had lived in in the city of uh, Okayama. Okayama is Okayama is Okayama is situated west of west of Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> and when I was when I went to high school, I I had lived in the city of Nagoya. Nagoya is situated Nagoya is the center of Japan. Yeah. And uh, uh, when I when I when I ran in university, I, I after I ran in the university in Osaka. Oh wow! Uh, after this, I get to I get I go to work in Tokyo. <laughs> I, sorry. A lot of cities. A lot of cities. Yeah. Yes. You travel a lot. <laughs> yes. Then I then I I worked in Tokyo eight years. I I thought uh, this is the end of uh, this was the end of my my journey, but yeah. but uh, it is not not it is not true. It was not true. After I I I came to Moscow, and now I live here. <laughs> so, uh, what uh, did you study here, at the university? Here, you I I I graduated to a university in Moscow. So I, I seriously I studied uh, method oh. of teaching Russian and language and oh, okay. linguistics. Aha, uh -huh, linguistics. Yes. Okay. Nice. So you <laughs> went. So you. What did you study in Japan, though? Uh, in university. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I had learned. Uh, I, I, I majored. I majored philosophy. Oh, philosophy. Japan. Okay. Yes. Yeah, good. Then, Eastern? Did you learn like Eastern and Western philosophy? Uh, Western society. Oh, Western my, philosophy. My my specialty is uh, German philosophy. German philosophy. Okay. Mm. Schopenhauer. Wow. Schopenhauer. Schopenhauer. Yeah. Schopenhauer. <laughs> did you, <laughs> did you go to this university in Moscow? No, it, no. I, 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 I don't ha I don't run in Moscow University. I don't I run in a Pushkin um, uh, Pushkin University. Oh, Pushkin okay. College. Okay. College in the name of Pushkin. Oh, okay. <laughs> is, so you know where you work now. It is a spe special special yes. special college for language for li linguistics. Oh, okay. Yes. Pushkin Institute. Yes, yes. <laughs> it, it is my nice. mother. Then I I I learned three years. Yeah. Syria <laughs> three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Okay, you guys. Well, we finished Thank up. Thank you for coming to class. And you guys did a great job being able to answer all those uh, questions and. Like I said, those are the kinds of things that you know. Every even if you're not taking a test, an English test, uh, those are the kinds of things that people like to learn about each other. So it's nice to to be able to speak about you know where you came from, where you live now, what you do, yeah. what it was like yeah. when you were younger. So yeah, good job. Very interesting class. Okay, great. Well, thank you we guys for that, coming. We, we, talk, we hope that we have passed the test. <laughs> you did. You passed the test. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, Dicho. Okay. See you okay, later. bye bye. Thank you so bye. much. Bye. Take You're care. Welcome. Take care. Bye. Goodbye.
And then everybody taking a couple of minutes to answer yeah. those questions. And it's just like a, a practice that we're going to do. Um, this is preparation for taking a test if you're interested in that or you need to do that. Um, something like the IELTS exam or the TOEFL exam. But it's also something that is very common to be able to do just in general uh, conversation with people that you meet. So if you're learning English and one of your reasons is to be able to communicate with other people, maybe you want to find friends online or you like to participate in a forum about your career or something like that or some hobbies or interests that you have or you just want to participate more here on uh, Verbling, then this is just for practice. So we're going to practice and I'm going to ask you guys uh, some questions that are basic questions um, for specifically for IELTS exam this is um, uh, an example of what would be um, asked or what you would be asked to do um, during the first task so the first task for speaking on the IELTS exam is a very informal um, everyday language type task so um, one of them might be for example Describe your hometown. So I'm going to ask you guys that question. And before I do, I'm going to talk a little bit about what that might uh, include, what your answer might include. So your hometown is where the town where you were born. So if I ask you, describe your hometown to me, you might want to tell me the name of the town, where it is, um, what it's like, how big is it, um, uh, is it out in the countryside? Is it in a city? Uh, what are the people like? What was it like growing up there for you? And then I, I'm maybe going to ask you some other questions. So Vincenzo, why don't we start with you and mm. tell, tell me a little bit mm. about you. Okay. okay, we're live. Hi there, everybody. Uh, my name is Lisa, and I'm one of the Verbling English teachers and you are watching verbling.com and this hour we are going to have a speaking class so if you are interested in practicing your speaking skills whether or not you are preparing for some type of English proficiency exam like the IELTS or the TOEFL exam if you just want to get some general practice in then this will be a good class for you during this hour um, if you have made a reservation then you can use that now if you don't have a reservation that's okay the class is starting and so you can join the class anytime um, you just click on the join class button if you're a Verbling member or if you're maybe trying the free trial or if you want to pay per class there's a couple of different options for payment uh, you can look on I think there's a link at the top of the video um, on the Verbling website um, which you can go to that web that web page and read all about the different payment options for using Verbling. Um, you can also also um, you can also always watch the videos and watch us do the class. Um, that is free. You can also see that what we're doing over here on the Verbling chat. Sometimes people ask questions and I answer. Um, in this class, we're going to be speaking a lot, so you can listen to us. Maybe practice along. So let me welcome everybody who's come to class so far. Owner, how are you doing? I don't hear you, Owner. Is your microphone turned on? Okay, there you go. Now I hear you. I'm okay. hearing something. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. And Jordy, welcome again. How are you doing today? Jordy? Your hometown, <clears throat> what was it like? How would you describe your hometown? <clears throat> yes, my hometown is a, is a town that is near Rome. Is a 30 kilometers from Rome, from the capital, it's called Tivoli. It's mm -hmm. uh, a very, so very ancient, a very old city uh, with uh, 
in I think in uh, it could be fifty thousand inhabitants, mm -hmm. and uh, there is the uh, a river that uh, that go through this city, and uh, it's called the Aniene. The Aniene. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, city, let's say town, perhaps is it better to say town, uh, has a very a beautiful villa. We have Villa d'Este, Villa, villa Adriana, and Villa Gregoriana. Uh, mm -hmm. Villa, villa d'Este is very famous. I think it's a, a villa that. Uh, one of the first in, in the world, uh, mm -hmm. I don't think, it, perhaps it's the third, it is famous for uh, the playing with the playing with waters, yeah. as I can say, it's very famous because it, it's, it, uh, we have, in this villa we have lots of fountains and, mm -hmm. uh, and playing with water, perhaps also a, a fountain it is called the uh, 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 organ fountain. So I don't know if uh, in English it's very exact. It's ah. uh, so a time this uh, fountain could uh, uh, sound, no, with the with yeah. the water. Oh, uh -huh. have the possibility to sound with the water. Uh, perhaps if you are going to see, we can see from the internet uh, and. Well, I'm looking it's at the the Villa de Este in Timor. Villa de Este, yes. Yeah. Cardi from the Cardinal uh, de Este. Okay. Whoops, Jordi dropped out. Maybe it's having a connection problem. Okay, Federico, how are you? Federico, your microphone is muted, so there you go. Hmm, maybe we're having some trouble with the, the hangouts here. There comes Jordi again. Okay, Federico, unmute your microphone and talk to me. Let me see if it's working. Um, if you don't know how to um, unmute your mic, just go to the top of the Google Plus Hangouts and you'll see a little microphone with a, a line through it. Um, if that is red, you are muted, and if it's not, then I can hear you. And I can see where I am that you are muted right now. So if you want to talk, you need to unmute your microphone. Okay, Jordi, you're back. How about is your microphone working? Yeah, yeah. I okay. have problems uh, with my connection uh, uh, after I. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, it works. Uh, but it's working. now it work uh, good. Yeah. Good. All right, so Federico, I'm waiting for Federico, and Mod's joining. Okay, and Vincenzo, hello, how are you? Your microphone is muted, Vincenzo. <laughs> Next, yeah. right now, yes, I'm ready right now. Yes. Hi. Uh, hi, how are you, teacher? Good, how are you doing? Fine, fine, thanks. Good. All right. And I still haven't heard from Federico, so I'm not sure if his microphone is working or not. So, Federico, um, you have to unmute your microphone. And Imad is joining us, too. So, hi there, Imad. Welcome. Okay, guys. So, this is, um, uh, for in this hour, I thought we would just practice some, uh, having me ask you guys some questions. Yeah. Yes. Yes, this is very famous. Well, in, after we have uh, Villa Adriana from the Emperor, Imperator, Emperor, Emperor Adriano, yeah. Adriano, Emperor Adriano, this is uh, uh, 10 kilometers, I think, of five, no, five kilometers from Tivoli. It's uh, in the suburbs. And yeah. uh, also this villa is very famous. And also Villa Gregoriana, that is... Uh, a villa they, where there is a, a, a fall, there is a fall, yeah. yes, mm, not very important, but uh, beautiful. Mm. So uh, what, can I, what can I say? Yes. Mm, that's beautiful. Mm, yeah. Mm, so, mm, did you like growing up there? Yes, yes. We, in, in this city I have my brother, brother, mm -hmm. 
uh, instead my my sister have a brother and a sister my my brother is in, in Tivoli uh, yeah. live, uh, lives in Tivoli and my sister is near Rome uh, uh, near the cast, castle Roman castle mm. Albano Albano it's, you know, it's how, one of the, how long yes. did you live in uh, Tivoli yes uh, till I was in Tivoli uh, till I married in mm -hmm. 1978 I married in 1978 and mm -hmm. so from 1941 to 1978 yes. wow. from, uh, and then uh, and then you moved to uh, Rome yeah moved to Rome yes with my wife uh, mm -hmm. from the 1976 uh, 90, 1977 till today I am in, I live in Rome yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you so do you go um, visit Tivoli very often? See, yes. Sometimes I go there I, you know, because I I go in order to see my 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 mm, brother. Yes, mm -hmm. my brother. And uh, yes, but I don't like to return.